So Secure X or Cisco Secure X, no doubt anybody or most of you with Cisco technologies in your environment would have heard of Secure X by now. If you haven't, then I have a brief description there on the screen to basically tell you what Cisco Secure X is. And as described there, reading word for word, Secure X is a cloud native built-in platform experience that connects our Cisco Secure portfolio and your infrastructure. It is integrated and open for simplicity, unified in one location for visibility and maximizes operational efficiency with automated workflows. And you've got kind of got three key benefits there and we can see that we've got simplicity, visibility and efficiency. So what SecureX is intended to do, and it's not just purely for Cisco secure um, solutions or Cisco products alone, you can integrate third party solutions as well, because what we're trying to do here is we're trying to reduce the time required for people to investigate and look at potential issues within an environment in order to uh, protect their environment. And when we've got so many different products in our environment doing different things these days, it's very easy to kind of get lost in all the noise and um, it takes a lot of time to sift through the information in order to get to the bits and pieces that you need. So what SecureX is trying to do is essentially trying to um, get rid of all that noise and basically feeding in all the relevant information into a centralized location, that being SecureX, to give you that visibility um, to really take a look at you know, what is uh, potentially a threat within your environment. And that in turn will help to increase um, the efficiency and um, help stop breaches before they occur. And there's some statistics there that uh, show what SecureX can do. And I'm not going to spend time on SecureX because our main focus today is actually how to integrate um, Duo with SecureX and then we'll look at some of the features and, and capabilities as we go through the video series here but you can see here it's all about kind of as we said efficiency simplicity and also being able to give you visibility of um, the issues that matter the most so that's just a very quick uh, whistle stop tour and it's probably worth mentioning actually that if you do have a cisco secure product then you should have access to Secure X. It's not a, a platform that we charge for. Um, you just simply have to have a Cisco Secure product and then you should be able to make use of Secure X. So if you're not using it right now, then I strongly urge you to uh, make use of this where you can and get to understand it and then you can start to you know really leverage the power of SecureX. and if you want to know more about SecureX, please do visit our uh, website uh, for more information around SecureX. as i say today is going to be focusing on how to integrate duo with SecureX. my name is kelvin charles and i'm a cyber security systems engineer here uh, at Cisco, working specifically uh, within G Zero Trust and uh, Duo. So I really specialize in integrating Duo with different solutions for, for our customers here at, uh, at Cisco. So we have some prerequisites here on uh, what's required to integrate Duo with SecureX. And um, I've put three down. So the obvious is that we need to make sure that we have a Duo account with admin ac access uh, to the Duo admin panel. And that's gonna allow us to uh, create or, or um, form that integration with, with SecureX. 
Again, a secure X account with the correct privileges so that you can um, configure the secure X side. And then ideally a dual access or dual beyond license so that we can leverage uh, secure X in a, in a way that we'd like to really by you importing or um, sending dual trust monitoring device insight information uh, to secure X. And again, we will take a look a little bit more at these as we kind of get into the, the video series. Um, but today we're going to focus on actually the integration between the two, Duo and SecureX. So the, it's relatively straightforward, very quick and uh, easy to do. All we have to do is, um, for those that are familiar with Duo and SecureX, we just need to add protection on the Duo side. Uh, in the form of a map, uh, an application for um, SecureX and then we need to add a new dual integration module on the SecureX side and then we need to copy the integration key and secret key which is taken from the dual admin panel and uh, put onto the integration module within SecureX and that's it. Save the configuration and we should be done. So we're going to take a look at a demo now and see exactly how this is done. So we have access to our Duo admin panel here and the under device insights we can see that we have some information around operating systems etc. This information if we can kind of centralize that uh, within SecureX will be uh, really be beneficial here. And then within trusted endpoints, we don't have anything configured um, yet. And that's the same with Trust Monitor. We don't have anything configured in terms of risk profiles, etc. So as we get go through the video series, we can um, configure these and see how these work and how they um, benefit uh, SecureX as well. For now, let's go to Applications, Protect an Application, and then let's type in SecureX. And now you can see we've got Cisco SecureX dashboard. This is the one that we need. I have to just press Protect there on the right hand side. You can see we have an integration key and a secret key here. And the, other, the, the only other bits of information we have is a name. So we can give it a more meaningful name if we choose to. And then we can add some notes as well for internal use. As I said in the configuration steps, integration key and secret key will be required on the SecureX side of things. So if we head over to SecureX, this is my SecureX dashboard. And let's go to integration modules. And let's search for Duo. And you can see in terms of in integrations, we can see Duo comes up here. So we want to press add. And we, again, you can give it a more meaningful name if you choose to. So I'm just going to say, mine is called Network with Kid Demo. And then our integration key and secret key we take from our Duo admin panel. So we'll copy the integration key and we'll paste that into there. And we'll also copy our secret key, which should remain a secret, do not share that with anyone, into our secret key field. And the last step here, we have the option to create a dashboard, which is going to kind of give you uh, tiles that are associated with the actual module that we're installing now. So I'll just leave that as um, default and then we'll click save. And that's it. So you can see that this integration module has no issues and that is now done. So we do have a new option here to delete. Now if we go back to dashboard, we can see that we have uh, the ability to import a new dashboard. So let's import that, or you could create a new one. We'll just import that dashboard into our existing. And what you can see here, um, if we just scroll down, we've got umbrella there. And we can see now that we have 
um, duo configured here and you can see we have the ability to uh, customize it so on our dashboard here we can add in the uh, a new dashboard if we wanted to we don't want to do that so let's delete that because we've already got one and then under the uh, current dashboard we can see the available tiles that we've got um, we can see that we can select their uh, our duo trust monitor tile if we want to add it to the default dashboard and not use that one so again if you want you can delete that one there and just have one dashboard or you can organize them basically how you see fit so if i press save now you can see that the new dashboard that we created has been removed um, however we can see here that we ha we now have our duo uh, tile on the main dashboard as well and that's it that's pretty much the integration between the two